start by extending our condolences to you and your family. I'm not as good as Larry, so I jotted down some notes this morning. Um, when I talked to Steve about this on Monday, he said there um, can be some humor. So I've never done this, so I'm going to apologize right off the bat if this goes bad. Um, this is really a privilege for me. I've known Ann a while um, as a friend and a colleague. We graduated together from Twin Valley in 1973, and 20 years later we entered the school board. And that's when I really started, started to get to know Ann. Um, uh, so that's really what I'm going to speak about, um, is some of the things that um, we've gone through together on the board. That was 15 years ago, and um, three superintendents later, uh, Ann had a big part of uh, hiring the superintendent that was with us for a while. She, um, her and Lisa, I think Lisa's here, they went to the district where um, we made a decision who we were going to hire, and they decided they were going to make sure that we um, made the right decision. And with some of your comments, Larry, it's probably appropriate for Ann. So they, they went to this school, and they tracked down people in the school, I think were accosted by maybe a board member or two, came back and were satisfied that that was the right decision. But, but before, there was an interim period before we hired that particular person who was also here today. Um, we needed somebody to fill a gap because the previous person retired. And again, Lisa and uh, Ann decided that there was a, a retired superintendent from Berks County that they thought should fill that position. Well, it was probably borderline stalking, but, but they were convinced that they were going to get this guy. They didn't. He, he chose not to come there. So we went through a series of, of people. And then we eventually um, hired Judy, who was with us for a while, and served as president for um, a couple of years. She was actually the person that thought that everybody should have a chance to be president. And, and since then, we rotate every two years so everybody gets a chance that chooses um, to, to take that chairship. Um, I look around, and a lot of people in the school here, administration, teachers, board members, it, um, it's like an extended family. And um, Ann had a lot to do with it. She left her mark um, with her personality. She was instrumental in transforming the district to make it into a uh, more community-based educational facility, which is something that we all wanted, and um, we accomplished that with her help. She, uh, and I think uh, later on, I'll give you some comments of um, what some of the other board members said at our meeting on Monday. One of the board members said that she was always challenging our thinking. Uh, especially if she didn't agree with you. Um, she didn't back down from anybody. She wasn't afraid of people in the public. I, I remember one particular um, time when we were in the process of going after our, having to go after a third superintendent just re not too many years ago, and we had a public session, nowhere near as many people as, as this. and. Um, there was a particular community member that um, agitator might be uh, a compliment. And, and, you know, Ian went right after him, you know, before the meeting and said, you know, you know, why do you feel this way? I can't believe you feel this way. And I think her last comment to him was, you need to get a life. <laughs> um, we attended a few conferences together over the years. Uh, Ashley, I said uh, last night, um, the last time, Look at Nikki. Um, the last time I saw you was at one of those conferences. It was, you went along and it was uh, in San Francisco um, several years ago. Uh, one in particular was in Orlando. All of us chose to, uh, to fly. Ann said, no, I'll drive. Hey, you're crazy. Why don't you fly? She said, no, I'm going to drive. Well, for those of you that know how Ann drives, she just about got there as fast as it took us to go to an airport. They don't play with all the airplanes. So, um, Maybe she really knew what she was doing. Um, over the probably last six years, probably maybe the last three in particular, she came to a lot of meetings in pain. She never complained. She would ask us if somebody had a cold. She was worried about somebody had a cold. And 
It was never about her. I think the thing on the back on the back cover pretty much sums it up. Um, three years ago, almost to the day, I got. A, I remember the phone call. I know exactly where I was standing when she had her accident. Most people wouldn't survive an accident like that. It didn't seem to be a problem for her. But after after that accident, I noticed something different. Her sense of humor changed. Um, and her probing skills were much, much better, or maybe you just paid attention to it. But, but um, she, challenged, she challenged those of us on board even a lot more than um, what she did in the past. Um, some, of, some of the organizations I, that she's involved with, um, I'm not gonna list them all, but um, she was, as I said, president. She chaired various committees was active in lots of things that went on in school. She helped with the, the uh, Community Ed Foundation of which she received the um, 2007 Award for Outstanding Service. I'm not sure if that's what it's called, but that's really what it means. She was um, a big part of Relay for Life. She served with my wife, Terry, on the pool board. <coughs> I heard last night that she was in the Brownies. Um, she also has, um, She's also supported the local police department, I think, through a few speeding tickets. <laughs> uh, but she started to get good at getting out of those. Um, at least that's what she, she always told us. Um, this past Monday, Marina, who's uh, president of the board now, said I guess she had a, a, she considered briefly whether we were going to have a meeting or not. And her comment was, well, that's not something Ann would want to do. She'd want to get on with it. So we had the meeting. Um, and, and during that meeting, or before the meeting, there's a you know, moment of silence and went around the board and administration. And these are some of the comments. Courageous, committed, um, stuck on her principles. She never deviated from her principles. Student needs, as I said at that meeting, she always referred to students as children. Um, their needs always came first. Dedicated, strongest person we knew, mentor, friend. Um, uh, Paul, even, you know, he referred to her as his hero. And in, in closing, um, she, had, um, she had kind of a saying that, there was actually two sayings that I recall from her. One was, get over it. If uh, you just didn't happen to get your way on something that she uh, won out on you, and um, oh hush, yeah, you know, if you said something she didn't want you to say, that's that's what you would hear. Um, and we need to get over it, and we will, and um, we'll miss her. We won't forget her, and um, she's always going to be the right seat, and the right, or the last seat on the right at, at our board table, and. He's going to get choked up. Um, anyways, we're going to miss her, and uh, I really appreciate it knowing her. And um, I encourage the rest of you to offer your comments, because I'm sure you will be much more eloquent than I was. Thanks. <laughs>